great mountains, big rivers, and a mega city. Silhouetted by the turbulent Yangtze River, the blessing of the nature and the nourishment of a long history have nurtured in the West a shining pearl. This is Chongqing, a land of natural beauty, a city with cultural appeal. Chongqing, called Ba in ancient times, and also called Ba, Yuzhou, and Gongzhou at different historical time. In 1189, Zhao Dun, who was crowned as Emperor Guangzhong of the Song Dynasty, after being dubbed Prince Gongwang, renamed Gongzhou as the prefecture of Chongqing, meaning double happiness, to celebrate his good fortune in succession. The year 1891 saw the opening of Chongqing as the earliest inland port to the outside world. During World War II, Chongqing became the wartime capital of the Kuomintang administration, serving as the Far East headquarter of the World Anti-Fascist War. In 1997, it was approved to be a municipality directly under the central government with an area of 82,400 square kilometers. Chongqing now has 38 districts, counties or autonomous counties with a population of over 30 million. Its long history of humanity can date back to the Tang and Song dynasties. Taking strands from its glorious past, Chongqing today is radiating with vigor and vitality. In January 2016, President Xi Jinping came to Chongqing for inspection. He pointed out that as an important node of Western development, and the nexus of the Belt and Road and the Yangtze River Economic Belt. Chongqing plays a unique and an important part in opening up and regional development. In March 2018, President Xi participated in the panel discussion of Chongqing delegation during the annual two sessions. Chongqing, as he demanded, should accelerate the building of itself into an open inland highland and a place of beautiful landscape. Moreover, he pointed out its development should be of a high quality to enable its people to live a quality life. As an island city, Chongqing is embracing the world as a pioneer in opening up. Here lies the nexus of the Belt and Road, and as the traffic center for railways, expressways, water routes, and flight routes, Chongqing links together every corner of the globe. China Railway Express bridged Asia and Europe its southern end in Chongqing connects the belt with the road. Its free trade pilot zone and Liangjiang, new area, are the two wings of a flying bird. Lots of people, goods, capital, and information are gathered and distributed here every day. Open and inclusive, Chongqing is building itself into an open highland in the inner area and an international metropolis.
surrounded by tree-covered mountains and rivers. Chongqing is a city of green trees and clear water. Its color of green is in harmony with the twins, the mountainous city sings paying great attention to environmental protection and the building of a good ecosystem. Chongqing will never develop at the cost of the environment. Tree planting, land reserving, and the safeguarding of waters and mountains will reward us with rivers cleaner and trees greener. By prioritizing ecology, green development, ecological industrialization, and industrial ecologization, we are expecting greener profits. We are making for the city an attractive name card, building itself into a place of beautiful landscape. As the saying goes, knowing the trend makes one wise, and keeping pace with it makes him the winner. Innovation is the call of the new era, and big data and intelligence have become the newest city symbol, empowering the economy and enriching people's lives. The electronic industry is developing, and smart cars are on the rise intelligent terminals, integrated circuits, new materials and other emerging industries of strategic importance are gaining momentum. New technologies, new products, new business types, and new production modes are mushrooming without seas. In the direction of high quality, supply-side reform, and an intelligent life. Chongqing is now marching forward swearingly. The old Asian people speak, and wisps of smoke from village chimneys complement Chongqing, a unique city with enduring charm. This is a picture of a beautiful ecosystem with flourishing industries and prosperous people. It is a modern city, in harmony with its countryside. Here, the city makes life better, and the countryside appeals to city dwellers. This is a land perfect for living, working, and traveling. It boasts diverse business modes, efficient rail transit operation, and flight routes leading to key cities all over the world. It is facilitated by the sound education system, medical care and social security policies, a broad space for career establishment. It is a city of dynamism, fashion, vitality, and dreams. It is also a city for quality life for each and every one of us. This is Chongqing, a city that is becoming better, where the locals are happy and visitors are eager to come. Surrounded by mountains and rivers, with valleys and gorges, Chongqing is a city where man and nature are in harmony. Its gradualness to the mountains and rivers, and its charm originates from its humanity. The great beauty of Chongqing is superb, and can hardly be expressed by words. A land of natural beauty, a city with cultural appeal, a tour in Chongqing, a game in vision.